This week, we spotlight our CTAB youth, making it happen, next on CTAB News. Good morning, Christian Tabernacle. I'm Mark Mayberry with your CTAB News for Sunday, July 18, 2010. Fresh from the Breakthrough Conference, CTAB youth are energized and on fire for the Lord. Here are some of our exciting youth activities this summer. The word is out. Friday Night Live is the place to be for all CTAB youth. Every Friday in July and August at 8 p.m. in the Family Life Center, Youth come out in large numbers for food, fellowship, talent shows, movie nights, games, and a whole lot more. Here's the buzz from some of our youth. At Friday Night Live, I played basketball. I played video games, played the pool table. We watched the fireworks, we ate food, and we watched TV. It was a fun time. I'm enjoying Friday Night Live because I can come out and have good, clean fun on the weekends. and fellowship with people at the same time. I would recommend other teens to come out so that they may learn more about God. We can actually show them our gifts of what God gave them to us and how we use them in our everyday life. It gives us a chance to fellowship with other um, Christian teens who have the same goals and focus as us and it's a really safe place to be on Fridays. The recent youth trip to Camp Hiawatha was a blessing to all who attended. Here are some comments from some of our youth. I learned that you could, um, that you don't have to just like look at the Bible verses and just like read them over and over again. You can like make up like a jingle or like a song to like go with it so you can learn it better and it'll be more funner to do it. The experience that I would take back is probably how much fun I had and learning God's Word in a different way. I'd like to uh, recommend it for like youth because it's real fun and you also get to learn about God, and it's actually fun learning about God. It was life-changing because at the last day, we had a guest speaker named Billy, and he shared the day that, the best day that he had when he recommitted his life to Jesus Christ, and he gave us a chance to, to do the same. And part of that was to read the Bible more, to learn more scriptures, learn my books of the Bible, and to know why I should believe in Jesus Christ and who he is and what he did for me. It taught me to not be ashamed of Jesus and to be a Christian. Mm -hmm. And it, what, I really, what really stuck in my mind was care for your enemies and don't hold grudges and stuff like that. Youth ages 4 through 12 are headed to the Henry Ford Museum, Saturday, July 24th from 9 a.m. until 3 p.m. There will be a special meeting today for all parents and youth who will be attending the retreat in the fellowship hall immediately after service. All right, Saints, save the date. Annual C-Tab Church Picnic, Saturday, August 21st, 11 a.m. to 4 p.m. at the tab. Don't miss it. Now here's a special message just for our youth. Teens like myself today are faced with much pressure and adversity, which often may lead to feeling alone and misunderstood. But the Bible says in John 16, These things I have spoken unto you, that in me ye might have peace. In the world ye shall have tribulation, but be of good cheer. I have overcome the world. Be encouraged, young people, for here at the tab, we are taught trouble doesn't last always. And what the enemy tries to create for you to fail, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, redesigns for your good. So cheer up, smile, know that you're never alone, and you have the victory in all things through Christ Jesus. We'd like to extend a warm welcome to all of our visitors. If you are visiting with us for the first time, stop by the Welcome Center. We have a special gift just for you. Well, that's it for this edition of CTAB News. Remember God's comforting promise. He will never leave us nor forsake us. I'm Mark Mayberry. Have a prosperous week.